The Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion walkthrough for nexonwalkthroughs.com. All right, the uh, Oblivion, uh, huge, 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 huge game, and I plan on doing everything in this game. That means all the faction quests, the main quests, every single side quest, and a bunch of other tip videos. Uh, because I'm doing this on the computer instead of the Xbox, I do not, I will not be able to do Shivering Isles or Knights of the Nine, which is depressing because they both give you the best armor, but <coughs> best weapon is inside Oblivion, but <coughs> so that's not gonna be all that bad. Now, I was scrolling through the characters at the beginning so you could see which ones were which in case you wanted to pause and see which ones did what. And right here I'm just adjusting my fins, age, and complexity just because I can. And also be sure to name yourself. Or else it'll name you some random. I'm not really sure what it'll name you. I think it'll name you enter name here. <laughs> so anyway, right here is uh, uh throughout the game or very beginning it'll be these little t tutorial things. That's the very first quest, the tutorial quest. And you are in the sewers of the Imperial City, or I mean the prison. Then you get into the yeah, it's, you're in the prison. Then you go through tunnels and more into the dungeons, and then in, out through the sewers. But uh, the tutorial is just the prison and the dungeons of the Imperial City. So right now it's just this elf, and uh, there's a spoiler included here, but I'm not gonna spoil it. So uh, yeah. Anyway, there's a some high elf I think he is on the other side, and he's just talking to you, taunting, taunting you about the water, and it's like. But the ironic part is you get out and he doesn't, so... Oh well, joke's on him, I guess. But yeah, uh, this is going to be on my channel, uh, <coughs> youtube.com slash mariobomb1168. This will be on my channel. The first five videos of this, like the first tutorial thing, will be on my channel. The rest is going to be on nextonwalkthroughs.com. And uh, <coughs> for the people seeing this on my channel, I've already done Oblivion, but I'm redoing it because my last one was not great at all, and... <coughs> Excuse me, uh, my last one was not great at all, and I wanted to redo this, and it'll be in HD and everything. And I'm doing it on the computers, and a bunch of the times you might see me mess up, that's because I'm trying to get used to the computer controls, because they're spread all across the keyboard, or all across the left side of the keyboard, and compared to a Xbox controller, where they're all in, like, one spot. And now the Emperor uh, talks to you, and you can talk to him. I'm not gonna skip through the dialogue this and the since this beginning God's I'm almost sure everyone has seen this beginning my sons, and I am but, so I'm not gonna my bother talk not talking when he is talking all right but later on whenever other people are uh, talking I'll stop talking and yeah but right now I'm just gonna Perhaps be talking through everything uh, so but as I just said later on I'll be letting them talk done, if it's of importance it I mean uh, the point of this walkthrough is not to let you see the game s uh, itself and everything, so for those of you that say they're going to tell me to stop talking because you want to hear the game sounds, the only thing I can say to that is buy the game, so, you know, buy the game and play it if you want to hear the game sounds because that's the point of buying the game, not w watching a video of it, so not, you don't play games when you're in the video, but, yeah. So anyway, throughout this walkthrough, I'll be, all through the tutorial mostly, I'll be explaining basics of Oblivion, and then throughout the entire walkthrough, and this is going to be a huge walkthrough, throughout the entire walkthrough, I'm going to be explaining, like, everything that I think comes to importance. I'll be giving character builds, leveling guides, to levels that I <coughs> can, actually, and ones that need it, I think, and, uh, yeah. And at the first here, you only have fists, and as you can see, it's really dark right here, but if you want, you can turn up the brightness to be really bright, and I'm gonna do that later, I think. Actually, I don't know, I can't decide if I'm gonna turn up the brightness or not, but if, like, but later on, you get a torch, and the brightness isn't that bad. I mean, the darkness isn't as dark, but right now, uh, it's kind of fun playing in the dark, actually. <laughs> I remember when I first got this, playing in the dark kind of freaked me out, but got over it, I guess, and then... Now it's just kind of interesting playing in the dark, but I might turn up the brightness later where you don't even need a torch. But if you're going to play in the default brightness, which is right in the middle, then you're going to need torches and lights and everything, which actually is probably a better idea if you want to get some of your skills up faster. Alright, here's the first fight scene, pretty much. Uh, I would get the Mythic Dawn robes right away just so you have a little bit of armor, not much armor, and then you're going to want to find the captain that died and get her sword. And get another sword too, because this sword is going to be taken away from you at the end, so don't expect to be having it. And carry the torch. And here's pretty much your uh, 
journal or inventory and right here is where you equip everything and can drop everything. For the computer you have to shift click to drop it. Everything else you just press X or square I think. For the torch I hotkey it and that's done by pressing and holding one on the computer for the consoles that's the d-pad and uh, in a minute I go through the I mean next video I'll go through all the uh, all the different inventory things now you're also gonna want to search people for potions because you're gonna need those later on so uh, that's pretty much it for part one and I will see you on part two